Welcome back, fellow gamers. Today we're embarking on a digital excavation, dusting off a device that was once the talk of the town. My Steam Deck has been relegated to the role of a paperweight for over a month now. The question lingers in the air like the faint hum of a processor. Is Windows the reason of this neglect? Join me today to unravel this mystery. The Steam Deck burst into the scene with the promise of PC gaming freedom. Yet, here we are, two years later, and the dust tells a story of disuse. Has the allure of Windows on the deck faded, or is there more to this tale? Let's delve into the Steam Deck Windows Odyssey and see the truths we can uncover. Well, opting for Windows on the Steam Deck was a choice filled with potential. It opened the doors to a realm where anti-cheat games were playable, allowing us to engage in battle royales and sports simulators like Warzone or AFC 24. And this was without the fear of being sidelined using SteamOS. It also welcomed us to a diverse universe of games using Game Pass, where every game brings a new adventure. And it didn't stop there. The world of game launchers and Windows apps was ours for the taking. The power to fine-tune our gaming experience lay at our fingers with the AMD control panel. Yet, installing it on Windows proved to be a quest of its own. However, fear not, I left a full guide on installing AMD control panel in the description below. And next, we have emulation. Emulation became a breeze on Windows, offering a lot of emulators to breathe new life into the classics and explore gaming history. They transformed the Steam Deck into a time machine with each emulator being like a portal to another era. But every story has its trails, and Windows on the Steam Deck was no exception. The absence of a native controller support was a puzzle that many couldn't solve, leaving us to rely on third-party applications like the handheld companion, which of course I left a full guide for in the description below. The missing FSR dimmed our visual experience, and the lack of a native FPS limiter left our gameplay at the mercy of fluctuating frame rates. And the slow ascent from powering on to gameplay on Windows was a test of patience. With all these loading screens and boot up time, Windec OS came in and brought us some hope, which is a tool promising to streamline our startup journey. For those brave enough to embark on this installation voyage, a guide lies in the description below. However, venturing into a world of external launchers like Battle.net or Game Pass was like setting sail without a map. The seamless experience we'd come to expect from Steam was lost at sea with updates becoming a difficult task, often asking us for update patches just when we're ready to play. And because of that, my Steam Deck sat in silence, its potential and tough. The gap between powering on and immersing the game stretched out, often turning minutes into what felt like hours. And it was enough to make me miss the immediacy of gaming console, where games were waiting on standby ready for you to play. With all these windows on the deck problems, SteamOS however remained the paragon of efficiency. Its streamlined interface and rapid game access was such a contrast when compared to windows on the deck. It was such a reminder of beauty of simplicity in design. In conclusion, windows on the Steam Deck offers a siren call for those who seek the full breadth of PC gaming. It is something that is kept for the adventurous gamers. Yet, when it comes to ease of use, SteamOS still holds the throne, offering a user experience that is hard to beat. So the choice between the two is a personal odyssey, and this all depends on what you value the most in your gaming journey. And with that, we close the book on our Windows Steam Deck saga. If you've journeyed with Windows on your Steam Deck, share your tales in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and our new style, please subscribe and let us know in the comments. Until next time, may your games be immersive and your experience grand.